let me tell you something whatever attacks your prayer life has really destroyed your life it's cheaper for your finances to be attacked than for your prayer life it's cheaper as bad as it is for your health to be attacked than your prayer life and let me tell you how satan attacks you he makes you to resent everybody that can help you you fight and quarrel them and push them when you are alone then he attacks you satan never attacks you until he creates an occasion through bitterness through anger through fault finding so everybody that can help you and intercede for you he cuts you away from them and then he leaves you alone solitude is a sign that darkness is close to you listen listen excessive solitude i'm not talking of just retreating to pray when there is a desire in you to not hear people to not listen you are in a world of your own it's a sign that darkness is close to you it's a strategy for your destruction the last key to receiving unction to reveal the glory is called impartation the mystery of impartation transference of grace transference of unction transference of power numbers chapter 27 we'll just look at one example so that we pray let's see what transpired between moses and joshua a classic sign of biblical impartation numbers 27 verse 18 to 23 numbers chapter 27 please write this scripture down and study it with all your heart this was god instructing moses to prepare joshua for ministry are we together are you ready let's read one to read and the lord said unto moses take thee joshua the son of Nun, a man in whom is the spirit and do what lay your hands upon him that what should happen next verse and set him before Eleazar the priest and before all the congregation and give him a charge in their sight are we together and he says and thou shalt put some of thine honor can you show me where honor is in a man God said don't just through impartation transfer your spirit transfer your honor I told you honor is not something you fight for it's a mantle that all the congregation of the children of Israel may be obedient there is a mantle that makes men loyal to a grace it's not by shouting and saying obey me there is a mantle and he shall stand before Eleazar the priest who shall speak counsel for him and so on and so forth and so on and so forth now let's see what happened Deuteronomy chapter 3 chapter 34 verse 9 just one scripture Deuteronomy 34 is still a continuation of this story Deuteronomy 34 verse 9 let's read together one two read uh -huh. was full of the spirit of wisdom why for Moses had what laid his hands upon him and the children of Israel hearkened unto him listen 